Hey, dreamer. Sit back and relax. I'll take you to your next dream. So, don't forget about the party tonight. Remember, it's blue colors only. Well, I'm inviting Derek too, and I want him to see me in this stunning new dress that I got. But it's a little bit too fancy, and I don't want to look like I'm overdressed for no reason. So I need everyone to wear blue tonight. <sighs> Ew. Isn't that gravy? Oh, shut up, shut up. Look normal. Um, compliment my heels. Aw, thank you, darling. I love them so much. They just add that extra spark to my outfit. Right? I don't know about you, but the last thing I would want to look like is like I just finished my shift at the graveyard. Like some other people. <laughs> Um, hey, sorry for interrupting. Are we still on for later? Uh, excuse me. Why are you talking to her? Well, well, I, I just wanted to- up, 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 up. One, I don't care. And two, ugh, <clears throat> you smell awful, as always. Just go away. You're making me nauseous. Wait. She hasn't told you? Told me what exactly? That she saw you at the homeless shelter when she was doing charity work? Uh... Never mind. I... Um... Hello? <laughs> Why are you still here? Just go. Uh... Go on. Shoo! I... Sorry. Oh my god. Seriously, what was that? I swear that guy is a freak. And that smell? Ew. He must have been burying rats again or something. I'm sure she doesn't mean it. Well, you know, she's with a popular crowd, so she probably needs some time to process things. I mean, come on. Come on, it's her, you know? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Oh. Hey. Oh, no, nothing. I was just talking to myself. What are you doing here? Don't you have a party to go to? What was that? What do you think I'm doing? Yeah, it's true. I, I bury animals from time to time. No. You think I'm that crazy? Of course I didn't kill them. They're usually already dead or dying. I don't know. I... <laughs> uh, sometimes the janitor would see these dead animals. And all they do is just throw them in the trash. And I don't know, I just don't feel right about it. Yeah, imagine if you were dying somewhere and someone just threw you into a dumpster or something. Yeah, 
I just don't think it's a proper way to honor the dead. <sighs> well, I work with corpses, so this is nothing new, really. Uh, grab me that bag. Yep. <laughs> That's the squirrel corpse that I found. Uh, come on. Don't be so squeamish. <sighs> it's just a dead squirrel. say any final words before I bury him? <laughs> Alright, then I'll be saying a few things. <sighs> Dear Mr. Squirrel, I hope that you are in a better place filled with a lot of nuts. So much nuts that <laughs> It will fill up all your stomach and more. And I hope that you find happiness there. All right. That's very him. some trash can, right? Yeah, this whole area here, up to that flower over there, the blue one, uh, this is my usual burying area. Whenever I see some dead animals, I'll bury them here. They're good nutrients for the flowers. Uh... Of course, I have to change the soil and, you know, maintain the flowers, water them. And, I mean, it works well. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. <sighs> hey, can we talk about earlier? You know, the thing with Jessica. You haven't told her about us, have you? Are you ashamed of me? I mean, I get it. Everyone thinks I'm a freak. I smell funny and... I bury animals in the back of the school from time to time. So, I can understand if you don't want to associate yourself with me. I know you're doing this to protect your social status, but it still hurts. Hey. Tell me something. Do you not like me? Because if you really don't, then that's fine with me. <laughs> well, not really fine. I, I guess I just have to find a way to move on, but you know, it's best to know now than later. After all, we did kind of start it a bit too quickly, and uh, maybe I'm putting too much pressure on you to change. Hmm. What? You, you 
like me. Then, what are we? Are we really together? Because I don't want to hide being in love with you. Because honestly, I don't think I can anymore. I want to tell the world about you. About how amazing you make me feel sometimes. How I just can't stop thinking about you. How my heart skips a beat whenever you call me by my name. And I don't want to lie to other people. Because I would kind of be lying to myself too. I really want to have this relationship with you. And I don't think I can carry on if we're going to keep it under wraps like this. So I need your confirmation right now. Can you accept me for who I am? Even in front of your friends, in front of Jessica. Because if you can't, then I really don't see any point in... <sighs> Ow! Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! Stop it! What is wrong with you? Like, every time we, you know, have a conversation, you just hit me, right? I'm, I'm really, really trying to have a nice discussion with you about us. And, like, here you are just punching about, like, hey, ow, ow. Okay, what, what do you want to say? O okay, okay. Oh, shut up. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. All right. Yes, I'm a freak. We. I established that. Okay, I'll shut up. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of stunned right now. That was probably the most aggressive and sweetest thing you've ever said. I mean, okay, okay, fine. I get it. It was just a misunderstanding, all right. So you're going to tell Jessica about us? You're going to tell all your friends. And you're okay with this. About us being a thing. Okay. Then I guess you can make it work. <laughs> all right. Baby. Take you up on that offer. Go get something. All right. 
you lead the way then.